Hello everyone, and welcome back to Commentary Battle Number 12, Part 2. Uh, we left off with in the middle, uh, he's our charge by my opponent, which we are going to look at at the moment. Right over here, I'm going to get in a square at the moment to try to avoid any more losses by this cavalry unit. And he continues his house to fire on my right flank. And he's also bringing up a Swiss foot, which will wipe out both those units on the hill. And to my disappointment, my Swiss foot will just fire into this rugged trade. And the food's there, Vlad right there, it's out of ammunition, so it will not fire back either. But as you can see, I have two, uh, Leaders of the line right there. Oh, one on top of the hill that's gonna be my support unit. It's gonna kill the Swiss foot. So, hopefully, we can get him down on the hill in time. Our men are running, Do so. Sir. As you can see, my opponent retrieved the, my Swiss foot with his little Hussar unit there, which will soon take the turn into dust. As you want to call it, die. He also has his trusteers there, helped him out with that. Got some trusteers which came back from rounding. Those are the ones that got charged by his general in the last video. So now we continue this battle with me coming up on his left flank with my 6th regiment. Long range uh, rifleman, I guess a good call. But we're gonna try to continue the attack on the left flank. But for now, back on the right flank, we are bringing our guys down from the hill to try to support our middle. I have now accomplished, uh, it m might not seem like I accomplished anything, but I've accomplished completely wiping out my points right flank besides the fact that he has people in that house so I, I can now envelop his army from my right flank forward and from his left flank forward since he has most of his guys in the center of his army as you can see we're going to start doing that with uh, the Swiss foot of Polish legion and Chassier unit hopefully soon those units are coming down from the hill Now in the back I have successfully made my cavalry unit go around the enemy lines and we're going to try to destroy his devastating howitzers. But he sees this and turns the Swiss foot around which uh, actually helps me out which gives uh, one unit away from his center so it's easier for me to destroy his center now. So things are working out very well. We have uh, some backup units over there, and we're about to start the development of the middle. I found it's just going to be a massive gunfight. Now we are going to punch him really sir. hard in his left flank and try to wipe out any troops that are over here. So the main battle will be in the middle, hopefully. Trying to accomplish. Now we have pressed that cavalry unit through, and we are gonna go destroy his house series, which have been so deadly in this match. I think they're the big killing machine of his army at the moment, not anymore. Let me approach, monsieur! Let me approach, monsieur! Yeah, keeping my guys in the woods really helped against his howitzers, but the guys were out of the woods we weren't so lucky. It's one good thing about keeping your units in the woods against howitzers. But anyway, 
my opponent's uh, disadvantage of bad micro. He's going to keep two very important units in this uh, house, the Young Guard and uh, one of his Baltic Gears, which could have been very helpful in uh, deflecting me from behind and uh, could have ruined my hopes of destroying him in the middle. But he didn't, and uh, you see his Swiss foot just charge into melee attack into my Polish Legion. But lost very quickly due to his poor morale. And his men deemed diminish. As you can see, I still have one howitzer, so I have that advantage at the moment. Blasting away in the house, which actually does have the two units in it too. Now we have successfully routed most of the middle. Except there's one unit left, and as you can see, lines of dead men everywhere. See where like the lion is found for. Yeah, see the two units in there? They could have been a, a full bunch too. But my opponent kept them in there. I don't know why. Maybe for flanking support. I don't know. But anyway, my opponent's gonna rush up his Baltic gears to slow the movement of my Polish Legion on my left flank. Which both are untouched at the moment, haven't lost any troops. But they are gonna route. Uh, rather quickly, since it's like point blank fire. And those other ones are about to run out as well. I mean, if guys are coming back from the fighting spot they were just at, I mean, I'd be pretty scared too. As you see, the instrument now majorly begun. We're gonna try and circle this brave unit right here. Wipe them out because they're the only unit in the middle with this Swiss foot. As you can see I still have a cavalry unit intact. So if I need to I can use that. As you can see these brave in the middle and support formation are gonna really hold up against my encirclement for a while. Especially with his uh, Swiss foot came to the support of them. But I'm gonna bring up a Fusilier vine which was hidden in the woods behind here. So I can truly to destroy that. One of our units has used Yeah my opponent should really move those guys out of the houses. Could have uh, major out the flank me on my right side and could really have supported his left side. But as you can see, we uh, rattled those Swiss foot in there, but the Brave are still holding up right there. Now I was thinking about bringing up one of my Polish Legion to uh, take the house, but I decided not to. I decided I just blast it away. Spare me the men. Yeah, now we're gonna try to face that brave unit. They have a slight hill advantage here. But as you see, that house is getting blasted away. About 10 men every die, howitzer hits the house, so. And you see, the brave is still holding against that boost of your line. They're really starting to make me mad. I'm about just to start take my whole army to destroy him. Of course that wouldn't be a really wise thing to do, but over-exaggeration. As you see my opponent is still holding up in this house, which is now crumbling down due to me damaging it 50% of the way. So he is now going to start retreating guys out of there and try to destroy the Fusilier line outside here. And he's still trying to hold the middle, which he's doing a good job. But now I decided to bring my two Polish Legion up to my left flank since I see him running the guys out of the house. So we'll try to destroy those guys quickly so they don't destroy my Fusilier line. Because we need those to destroy the Brave. You can see that routed the Swiss foot fairly quickly. 
he still has a Polish Legion there. Now his brave have finally routed, and they're holding in the middle for about 10 good minutes. And now my opponent has retreated to a hill in the back with his uh, Swiss Foot and Polish Legion. But they won't hold for that long. We'll wipe them out fairly quickly. As you can see there. So the main strategy of this battle was uh, me hiding in the woods and taking the right flank basically pushing him in the flanks and circling him in the middle. And my point strategy was uh, getting the houses at the sides to try to support the flanks fairly well. And uh, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And good battle to my opponent.